Hey everyone, Silly here, and here is a quick video on all my favorite scav locations on Interchange. I mean, this video will basically show you how I managed to get all 50 of my graphics cards from a Bitcoin farm in the first week of the wipe, and that's something I always try to do. And as you can see on screen, we got one during this raid. So I'll go into all the spots I like to look at when I'm scaving in, spots that I know loot will be there left and waiting for me. So I hope you find this video helpful. Enjoy. Okay, so we're in a perfect spot uh, to start scaving in because a lot of the stuff we're gonna be looking for in here are places not many people check. So initially what we're doing here is we're checking back here for like pressure gauges or for water filters. There's one right there, so that's a good 40, 50k right there. We made just for spawning in, which is not bad at all. Take a look around in all of these areas on the ground here for more. No more water filters this time, but now what we're gonna do. So we're just in the Ollie, by the way. The green building, or the big green like supermarket area on the right side of the map. If you're looking towards the back of interchange and we're looking on all of these shelves for like hardware items and such and we're also going to go to this kiosk right here to because there's two computers in all of these kiosks and there's a few kiosks to look for and we're gonna be looking for the graphics cards this is a pretty good loadout <laughs> spawn with the scab but 6.0 scab karma will do that for you i'm not going to grab those items just yet just because i find we'll find more or I'll know we'll find more items. A lot of people don't check these computers right behind these green desks back here. Let's see. There's not one there. There's the one there as well. Nope, not one there. But there's a bunch here. So here's one more right there. So these computers always go unnoticed. And I like to do this run uh, more early on in the wipe. Because I like to get my graphics card sorted out immediately. Just to get my Bitcoin farm up and running as soon as I can. So I'm gonna loot this computer on the ground as well. Nothing there, okay. We're hit. Now we're gonna go on the computer kiosk on the front because there's one right here that we're gonna loot. That looks like a player right there. But mannequin. So let's see if we can find. HUD is not too bad. I guess we'll start taking the wires now. Just for the XP at the very least. Now what we're going to do is we're going to run down the mall here looking at all of these shelves for some high value hideout items. But also we're going to check these areas because there's some spawns on these uh, shelves here. And as well we can find things littered all throughout these massive shelves. Sometimes you have to get close to the shelves to even see the items spawn in. Especially if you're running with a low um, LOD, which is the graphic setting. When you, with a low LOD, some items won't even spawn in until you get close enough to them. It's just kind of a thing that the game does, unfortunately. So you might be missing loot if you look uh, from afar and don't see anything when they might have just not spawned in yet on these shelves. So you really have to get right up in there and look at them. I'm not going to take the WD-40 or the propane tanks because the propane tanks are extremely heavy and the WD-40 is not really that valuable. But we're going to loot this grenade case here in this section. No grenades there, that's fine. On this chair right here, you can spawn valuable spawns like gold chains, bitcoins, lions, and that sort of thing. But nothing there this time. Loot the duffel because I love duffels. Nothing great there either, that's okay. I'm gonna keep looking on these shelves for more valuables. There's that WD-40 again that we really don't want. Keep looking along all these shelves here. Oh, see, look at that tape. See how that tape just kind of disappears when we get far enough away from it? You really have to get right up there into the uh, shelf. It's the blue tape, so we're not gonna take it because the blue tape isn't worth as much anymore at this point in the wipe. But there's a good example of an item that just disappears when you get close enough to it. Motor will take for now, but we'll probably end up dropping that depending on what we get during during this raid. Gonna keep looking at all of these shelves for more water filters. 
Even fuel can spawn back here again, which is not a bad thing to grab. So it looks like a lot of these were hit though. We have another tube there. Here's another kiosk with two computers in it, so we'll go ahead and check these. Caps and CPU. We'll take the caps because they're used for some crafts and some barter trades, so we'll take those. Still decent on the market as long as you sell them at the right time. Take another HED. We'll leave the CPUs because they're not really that valuable anymore at this point. Now we're going to go to the hidden computer room in the back just after we check this duffel bag right here. So this duffel bag can be full of some goodies. Oh, nothing there. Okay. So now we're going to go to these back rooms. And these back rooms are great because they often go unlooted. So first door on the right, there's the front of Ali. Now we're going to the back area. First door on the right, we have all these computer rooms here. The fact that these doors are closed means that they're probably not looted. And not only are these rooms good for paper <laughs> and computers, um, but they're also good for ration spawns. Like you can get some high valuable sugar back here, which is more common than you think. All the time along these back desks, I find sugar spawns, which can get up to around 100k during peak white, but everyone's trying to craft the moonshine to get the scav case or just to get the um, drops from the scab case. Um, so we have some MLI croutons there, Amelia, but I always call them MLI for some reason. We're going to continue looking at these computers here, just see what we get. We got the power cord, power cord, nothing crazy. Again, more ration spawn. So if you are looking for hydration and Goshan's a little, little crazy, Feel free to go in the back and look in these computer rooms because these computer rooms will have a bunch of rations there for you. So that one's going to be blocked by garbage bags. So we're just going to run around to the back because there's two more computer rooms that we have to look at. So here we are. We check these back, back desks for rations. No rations. That's fine. Keep looking for computers there. See what we can get here. Caps, we'll take those just because you can sell them for a bunch. In bulk, that is. Apollo. Not a useful item to grab, so we won't take those. You know, all these desks have another computer right here. More graphic chain spawns. But also you can get the um, you can get the USBs sticks. So if you're on that USB quest, there's a many different computers back here, so there's a lot of chances for you to get that USB spawn that can spawn at the front of computers. Um, got a RAM there. There we go, GPU. Perfect. So now our run is definitely looking up as we have a graphics card, and that's why these back rooms are so good. I'm not sure what they're going for now, but peak wipe, you can easily get about 500k for a graphics card. No problem whatsoever. So let's continue to look at all of these computer rooms back here. Coffee is also another good one to get because coffee is a good barter and craft item. You can get probably, you know, 25-30k for a coffee, so it's a good one slot item. Continue to look at all of these computers here. PCBs are much better than... I think at this point we'll drop the light bandage for a PCB. Because we don't really... Oh, another coffee. Perfect. Um, drop the other bandage for, for a coffee. I don't really... You know, when, I, when I'm dropping stuff, I prioritize dropping, like, my bullets or my uh, meds because I don't really fight on my scab. Um, and if someone goes to shoot at me, I kind of just let it happen in most cases because the karma to me is much more important. Having that fast scav uh, respawn timer and just the better scav spawn chances... As in, you can spawn with better loot. You don't, you don't have better chance at finding stuff in raid, but you have a better chance of spawning with better loadouts. So, I, um, I will always uh, prioritize my karma over getting into fights on my scab. So I'll drop like my ammo, my meds, because if I'm gonna get shot at and die, it is what it is. I'll spawn back in five minutes if I wanted to, and just run it back. So. I checked these lockers there because bitcoins or gold chains can spawn on those lockers. But now I'm going to check the furniture store. 
There's a dead scav there. But I don't see any players around. I'm gonna take the furniture store real quick because I know there's a Bitcoin spawn right here on the shelf. The Bitcoin's usually right up here on this one. So you want that. I'm also gonna check the tech spawns next to this PlayStation because that's another graphics card spawn. Um, and then I'm gonna look in all these back shelves for like jewelry, gold chains, rollers, that sort of thing. Because those are all very valuable items to get. But nothing crazy back there. I heard someone make noise in there, so maybe I'll uh, just uh, stick to this one for now and loot this tech store. Because this tech store is also very good for graphic cards and expensive things like G phones and whatnot. All very good crafts, especially late wipe. Those uh, valuable items hold up in price or sometimes even get more expensive. But this time we're not getting the big items but that's totally fine but I'm telling you guys if you're just looking for graphics cards come to interchange it is the fastest way to get graphics cards you'll have a 50 out of 50 Bitcoin farm in no time and that's one of the things I prioritize at the start of a way uh, because once you have that you I mean you already don't really have to worry about money if you know how to get a lot of GPUs that quickly um, but once you do have the Bitcoin farm up, you're, you're completely solid. So here I'm looting tech light now on the top floor. Checking all these shelves, there's a GPX right there. A lot of times these things get unnoticed and now I'll drop my ammo, for example. A lot of times these go unnoticed or people just don't notice them. <laughs> I said the same thing twice. People don't see them lying down on the top of shelves. Like you really have to get in there and get that loot dot everywhere. That's why I'm always like shoving my face into shelves. I'm not really taking the time to look with my eyes. I'm literally using my loot dot to do all the work. Another GPX. And I believe these GPXs are about 100k a piece too. So I'll drop the motor at this point. Because I know I'm going to be finding more stuff during this raid. Because I just know. I, I'm feeling it. I know we're lucky. So I'll take the power cord there. Power cords are good craft because you can craft uh, wires at the mechanic. Uh, oop, sorry, I got stuck in that corner. You can craft wires at the, like, the mechanic bench or workbench, whatever it's called. I've been taking a little break from Tarkov as, uh, ooh, Soleil was there. Um, just because I have uh, been <laughs> playing it pretty heavy recently. And uh, I'm big into historical games, so I was playing a lot of Mountain Blade and uh, Red Dead Redemption 2, which I just bought now. I and if you know anything about Red Dead Redemption 2, I'm sure you'll be like, what the heck? How have you waited so long to play that game? But it's okay. I'm playing it now. I'm having a blast with Red Dead Redemption. I'm checking this building beside the tech light in uh, the Emercom office. Just because I've seen some tech spawns on these pedestals. Nothing good so far, but I'm keeping an eye on them for you guys. Just to see if we can get some uh, good spawns there. Because I haven't really seen many people bring up. Uh, that store as a, as a possible place to get loot so I'll keep an eye on that one for you guys and just report back to see if I find anything good at any point now I'm gonna check the Rasmussen to see what we got here and I'm doing a full in-depth of places I check when I'm scaving so this is not necessarily a fast run but it's a run that allows me to well basically get my 50 50 graphics cards like extremely quick it really didn't take me a long time to get all the graphics cards i needed to max out my bitcoin farm and then after that i've just been selling graphics cards like hotcakes uh just because you know i'm interchange main filthy interchange main uh looks like we have some dead scav action going on in here which is pretty normal part of the map for that to happen in but anyways, I shall continue. Keep going and checking all the places I love to check when I'm scavenging. I should have, or actually I will check the Goshan lockers, but just to see if we can get any big coins, rollers, gold chains. A spot I commonly see missed. And again, I've done, uh, I've showcased a lot of these spots on some of my other guides, but this is more of what I'm doing on my scav. When I'm scabbing in at the start of the wipe or really at any given point. It's just there's so much loot potential here for a nice scab run. I uh, interchange, there's a chain loot here. So any of these lockers in Goshan here, 
another chain lit not really valuable has a chance for bitcoins gold chains rollers those good valuable shiny gold spawns that you want to be looking for a lot of chains lits this time so we got unlucky on the spawns but as you can see a lot of different almost all of those lockers has a decent chance to spawn something so on that time we got a bad roll with the uh, chainlets which are, are basically worthless but if all those chainlets were bitcoin rollers gold chains you can walk out of there with a few hundred thousand rubles no problem so let's keep checking here now we're going to check the german tech store across from mantis Check on all these pedestals here and on these like side shelves. We can get more fancy tech items. Things of the sort. Nothing crazy there. Relay, not really that valuable, so we'll walk by it. This next door, right next to the German, there is a big weapon crate. And a few jackets if you're looking for keys. So we'll go ahead and check some of those. Because weapon crates are amazing. If you've seen my weapon crate guide or my weapon crate run holy moly what a run here i mean what a uh what a crate so that uh helmet plate is worth a bunch to even just a ragman then we have the um raptor uh laser which is also worth about probably about 20 30 upwards uh to around 50k these can be expensive i'm not sure what they're going for late wipe but Depending on when you find those, and a suppressor is always going to be valuable. So, not not a bad weapon crate right there. We're not going to check the jacket just out of time. we got seven minutes left in the raid, so I want to show you a few other places. I'll check on my scav while I'm doing this. Now we're in the... I forget what this is called, the hardware store. I forget the name of this one sometimes, but... We're just going to check these front shelves for more fancy tech items. And then after we check that, a moonshine can spawn here. I've had a few viewers tell me that moonshine can spawn back here. I'm not sure if it's behind this desk or if it's on these shelves. I haven't seen it yet, but a moonshine can spawn back here in the store. And then we have the rare spawn right here. Um, and then we have the duffel and then a possible Ledex spawn on that crate that's right in front of me, that right, right there, which goes for about a million million rubles so definitely not a bad one to get as I'm trying to a little bit of difficulty here trying to get out but perfect not a problem we did get out now with six minutes left let's go ahead and run ourselves all the way down and check a, a few final spots before we head out here of this raid which will be the tech spawn by the dick box. <laughs> There's the dick box right there. Because, you know, I mean, look at it. You know what I mean? Right? And uh, there's the tech spawn where that PSU is. A graphics card can be there. There's a little scab boy doing his thing. These back shelves can have some fancy hardware items. Like, there's a measuring tape. I thought that was a pressure gauge. So, measuring tape, not worth really grabbing. But, always good to run by those items and give them a quick look. Both doors are open, so this is probably look or looted, but we'll check on all these tables for more fancy tech items. We actually will take the um, these white easy lamps because they can be traded for grenades from the traders. And uh, I love that trade because grenades are amazing. And uh, when you have grenades, it's never a bad idea. We're also going to check this box here. Uh, let's see. Maybe we'll drop the... Uh, the AI-2 for a helix. It's a good little spawn, but on that box, they have more graphics cards or high-value tech items. As well as all of these shelves, either side of these, you have more of those fancy tech items, more motors, but we're pretty full up, so we're going to go ahead and start running to the extract at this point. wonder if Kill is around, but I haven't heard him all day. I haven't seen him. But we have 6.0 Scav Karma as well, so if you haven't seen my killer video, uh, basically me following Killer around, watching him basically wipe the server and getting just absolutely full of loadouts for doing no work. Um, so when you're doing these like interchain scav runs, if you have 6.0 Scav Karma and you get a, a raid with Killer, 
um, that's that's like that's just a real treat because uh, whenever you have killer around always look for bodies because you can get some solid PMC kits when you're doing that I know it's getting a little dark I'm gonna have to up the brightness a little bit but we're gonna check this stash it's in the bush of the go-kart area to see what we get in here we have a cat and keg tape that's pretty good that's pretty good so we'll drop that maybe we'll drop the uh, a tube and a uh, power cord for the cat statue because um, the cat statue is gonna give us a little more value per slot as you run over these tires and then there's one more stash you want to look at right in this bush right outside of the open gap at the fence there so we'll take a look at this one just see what we can get matches nothing too amazing fleece not the best either that's perfectly fine and then the last stash we're gonna hit on the way out is right under this big road here because we want some goodies who doesn't want some goodies I certainly do and then we'll go ahead and check check these okay perfect relay so that one was probably hit but a lot there's a spawn right here at the start of the raid so usually that one will be hit just because everyone almost everyone knows where that one is it's not really in the hidden spot and there's a spawn there so a lot of people will just spawn there hit that stash if they get that spawn and then just run into the mall so but that being said, if that stash is looted, that doesn't mean the other ones around it are. As you saw, both of those um, go-kart stashes went unlooted. Or maybe the one um, outside of the go-kart area was um, looted because it only had the fleece and the relay, which isn't that great. But the one in the middle of the go-kart area wasn't. And that's because sometimes, you know, people know about specific stashes and not about others, even if they're beside each other. So it's very common. Um, I've seen it all the time where like even stashes that are just not even 50 meters away from each other and one's looted, I'll always check the other one because, and a lot of the time, um, the other one is unlooted. Just be, uh, depending on the map, of course, and uh, how hidden they are. But now we're just getting the extract and that just about ends our scav route for the day. We made a great amount of money, probably five, six hundred thousand rubles off of it, especially with that nice graphics card spawn that we got, thanks to the computer rooms that no one ever hits in the back of Ollie. But anyways, guys, I hope this video has helped you out. Check some of those scav spots, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. And remember, the Easter Bunny in 2003 teamed up with Pac-Man to defeat Thanos and save the planet. Now you know. That's why we celebrate Easter.